Let me start out by saying a big thank you to all of you that have subscribed and helped the channel reach the 5,000 subscriber mark. I am truly humbled by the support that you have given me and I promise to keep trying to bring you ever more interesting stories and improve the production value of my videos. As a small token of my appreciation, I will be giving away some of my new merch. Stick around to the end of the video for more details on that. So let's kick off with today's topic. Dogmen and other human canine hybrid creatures. These cryptids have long been a part of multiple cultures around the world. This mix of man and beast has had a long history from being seen as wise animals and messengers of good fortune to being monsters feared by others. This cryptid has a long documented history with an increasing number of sightings of late. It's time we take a look at this legendary creature, learn of its past, its presence and possibly its future. Welcome to IF, videos on cryptozoology, ufology and the paranormal. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss a video again. A mysterious animal has long been stalking the history books, often mentioned in the company of Bigfoot and other cryptid hominids. It's a creature that strikes fear into those that see it, the Dogman. There is a wealth of information online. This covers pictures, photographs and many stories of people seeing these creatures. The Dogman has been featured in many legends and is often named as the Sinusae. This name coming from the ancient Greek word Sinocephaly, this word translating to dog head. The creature is not only found in stories from Greece, it can also be found in cultures from Egypt, Africa, India, China, Europe and England, all having legends of men with dog heads. One of the most well-known dog-headed humanoids coming in the form of the Egyptian god Anubis. These canine-headed people are described in a similar way across all of these cultures. The characteristic which defines Sinocephaly or Sinocephalus is a human-like figure who possesses the head of a dog or of a similar canid species like a jackal or wolf. Often, such creatures also have human levels of intelligence. Mainstream science considers these dogmen as nothing more than a mythical phenomenon which only exist in their many different forms and contexts because they are imagined creatures. The dogmen has, however, been around for thousands of years, all of the previously mentioned cultures keeping the stories alive. Over time, the cryptid has risen and fallen in popularity, with many mentions of dog-headed humans coming from the medieval Middle East and Europe. In modern popular culture, Sinocephalics are often characters in books, comics and graphic novels and also movies. We see in these forms of media that Sinocephaly is regularly distinguished as being something different from lycanthropy, werewolfism. This difference being highlighted with the dog-headed men and women being able to talk and having a degree of intelligence. Whereas the werewolf is depicted as a savage animal, all humanity being lost in the transformation to wolf. These dog people are said to live in groups and show that they have a unique culture. Complete dogmen civilizations are said to have existed in the distant past. The Marmarite tribe reported to live in Cyrenaica, which is located in North Africa. In more recent times, sightings and reports of dogmen have mainly come from the northern United States. Although many consider the dogmen a separate entity, the creature does fit with the legends of skinwalkers. The legends of the North American native tribes talk of these skinwalkers. The creatures are reported as having the ability to shapeshift and they often take the form of a wolf which is said to be seen walking in a bipedal motion. According to Navajo legend, a skinwalker is a medicine man or a witch who has studied the dark arts and attained the highest level a shaman can reach in a tribe. Then. Instead of choosing to do good, they use their power for evil, often taking the form of an animal to inflict pain and suffering on others. An interesting fact that highlights just how deeply the belief in skinwalkers is, is that Navajo believe that skinwalkers wear the skins of other animals they transform into. 
it is considered taboo to wear the pelt of any animal. In fact, Navajo are only known to wear two hides: sheepskin and buckskin, both of which are only used for ceremonial purposes. Could an answer for the recent upturn in sightings be down to the recent release of a population of wolves into the areas of the northern U.S.? These released in order to control the numbers of moose, which are causing major problems. There are also other American cryptids that could contribute to the stories of dogmen. Heading south to the Louisiana swamps, and you come across the legend of Loup Garou, also known as the Roux Garou. The legend of the Loup Garou is that of a Cajun werewolf. Among the Cajun people, there is a long tradition of the infamous Loup Garou creeping among the Spanish moss-covered Cypress Islands of the deep swamps. In a tale that has some shades of the Skinwalker legend, the Loup Garou is a creature that was once a man. The man receiving a curse that means he stalks the earth as a half wolf. Half man. This curse is said to last for 101 days, or until the creature finds someone it can bite and pass on the wolf-like transformation. The curse is also said to be hereditary, being passed down through generations of Cajun families. The belief in this wolfman-like creature is said to stem from the staunch Catholic faith. A story tells of how, if Lent was not observed for a period of seven years, this curse would fall upon your family. The dogman reported by eyewitnesses bears an eerie resemblance to these dog-headed cursed men. Are these modern-day dogmen loup garou, or maybe the descendants of an ancient cynocephalic? If we are looking for explanations. We must also look at lycanthropy, werewolves, as a possible answer. Werewolves, just like dogmen, have a long history. They are common to many cultures across the world, but we need to narrow our search down to the U.S. And we do have one story that may point us in the right direction. The legend refers to an early Native American tribe from the area that has come to be known as Wisconsin. It was here that members of the tribe, called the Fox Tribe, may have been the first to receive the gift or curse of the werewolf. In this legend, there is a spirit guard named Wisakacheck. Wisakacheck was a shapeshifter who lived in the woods. He was a friend to humans, whose default physical form was that of a wolf. One day, Wisakacheck was roaming the woods in the form of a man when he saw two brothers from the Fox Tribe hunting. The boys, named Kame and Machiayu, had just caught a deer with their bows and arrows. Wisakacheck walked up to the boys and presented himself as a lost and hungry wanderer from a different tribe. Kame offered the stranger some of the deer meat that they had just caught, and Wisacheck accepted. About a week later, Wisacheck appeared in the same part of the woods again and saw the same boys again hunting. Machi Ayu explained that ever since they caught the deer a week earlier, they hadn't been able to catch anything, and they were hungry. Wisacheck, remembering the boys' previous generosity, told them he had no meat to offer them, but. He could share with them his power to shapeshift into a wolf, so that they could catch a deer more easily. This brings us back to today. Websites like North American Dogman have been keeping records of encounters with the cryptid. One of the most recent reports featured on the site is from KVUE ABC out of Austin, Texas. The reports document an animal which could possibly be a bobcat or mountain lion. Killing pets and livestock. Texas Parks and Wildlife Department game wardens were contacted, but were not able to confirm that the goat was killed by a mountain lion because the evidence had already been buried. The evidence presented in their interview, Ari Chickens Missing, does not match typical mountain lion behavior. In fact, similar events in the area and information shared with TPWD suggests the culprits could be dogs or a coyote. Or maybe it could have been a dogman. This attack was carried out by unknown animals. So, have there been any clearer sightings of dogman? Cryptozoologynews.com reports a man in northern Arkansas saw what he says was an unidentified bipedal creature. The 53-year-old man, a roofer who provided a full name and location but asked to remain anonymous, told Cryptozoology News he was heading back to his home after a day of work. When he came upon the biped on November 15th at around 4:15 p.m., he says, 
I came across this evil-looking wolf creature. It was carrying something in its hands, like a leash or a rope. The eyewitness described it as grey, seven feet tall, and being about 300 pounds. He did not provide a description of the head or its facial features. It was standing on two feet on the left side of the road, he added. And just over a month ago, a man in Colorado claimed to have spotted a similar creature. The Dogman is a cryptid reputed to live in the northwestern quadrant of Michigan's Lower Peninsula, although other sightings have been documented in other states, such as Wisconsin. This unproven creature was first reported in 1887 by two lumberjacks who described it as having a human body and a dog's head. One of the best-known cases of Dogman is the story of the Beast of Bray Road. The Beast of Bray Road is a folkloric variation on the traditional European werewolf and contemporary North American canine-type creature often dubbed Dogman. The sightings of the creature are primarily in southeastern Wisconsin as well as Michigan, but also occur in other parts of North America. When it comes to Bigfooters, they often stray from the phenomena for fear that it weakens the quote, cryptozoological field. Are they wise to do so? According to recent video, some of the Bigfoot sightings in southeastern Wisconsin are being confused with the Dogman sightings. The same could be said about Dogman sightings often getting lumped in with Bigfoot sightings. Are there really two different types of cryptids roaming the forests? Or is it just one being misidentified as the other? So what do you think the Dogman could be? Is it a real creature? Or an animal that belongs firmly in the realms of mythology. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. So, back to our giveaway details. Again, thank you all so much, and I'm sorry I can't afford to give you all a shirt. I will be adding gifts to my Patreon account, so if you fancy giving that a look, there are links in the description. So how can you win? Well, first, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Secondly, sign up to Twitter and follow my account. And third, leave a comment on this video. The winner will be chosen by a random name generator at the end of the month. Again, thank you so, so much and good luck. As always, if you like what I do here on the channel, hit that red button, like and share. You can catch the latest by searching We Are If. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.